What's going on guys, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Blue Basher here and welcome back to more Skyrim tutorials. In today's tutorial, we will be doing the Fortify Restoration glitch, which is also a great way to get yourself to level 100 alchemy and also get your armor upgraded to a very godlike status. As you can see right now, my armor rating is only 286. When I am complete with this, uh, if everything goes according to plan as it did the original time that I did it, my armor rating will sit at about 45,000. Uh, yes, you heard me right, that is 45,000. Unfortunately, the, uh, the way Skyrim works is um, the only... Uh, you only get uh, actual protection from your armor up to a up to an armor rating of about 570. So the other, oh, you know, 45,000 uh, that's over the 570 doesn't actually do shit for you. It's still fucking cool to have uh, an armor rating of 45,000. Anyways, we'll be needing uh, a lot of uh, a, a couple of ingredients and uh, a couple of uh, sets of armor for this. Uh, first off, we'll be needing some leather bracers, some leather helmet, some silver necklace, and some silver ring. Um, don't have to be leather, doesn't have to be silver. Uh, just bracers, br uh, helmet, necklace, and a ring of some kind of quality. Uh, go ahead and enchant these uh, with Fortify Alchemy. Uh, if you don't have the Fortify Alchemy uh, enchantment yet, uh, I would go to... Uh, like, I, I think the, the it's in uh, Solitude, it's like Radius Rament, Rament or some shit like that. Uh, you go in, you look at her wares, and if she's got something that fortifies alchemy, you buy that, and then you go disenchant it, and you learn the enchantment. If she doesn't have anything, save your game, kill her, load your game, you know, the whole restock, uh, restock the vendor, uh, items, glitch thing, whatever. Anyways, once you have... Uh, bracers, helmet, necklace, and a ring enchanted with uh, some sort of fortify alchemy. It doesn't really matter. Um, the better in the better fortify alchemy enchantment you can get, the the less time this will take, as well as your current, uh, in as well as your current enchanting and uh, alchemy levels. Uh, right now, my alchemy is thirty nine, uh, but my enchanting is one hundred. So I'm not going to get any enchanting levels from this, but I will get alchemy levels from this which is also a which is a uh, top so that's fun um we'll be needing ingredients like i had mentioned uh, previously uh we'll be needing abyssin long fins we'll be needing uh cyridilic spade tails we'll be needing salt piles uh small antlers and small pearls uh these five ingredients are for the fortify restoration potion which is the heart, soul, and blood of this glitch. The other ingredients we'll be needing are blue, butterf blue butterfly wings, if I could speak English today, hagraven claws, snowberries, and springian sap. You can get all of these ingredients from Arcadia in Arcadia's Cauldron. Uh, you just check what she's got for sale. And we'll just go ahead and kind of scroll through here, see if she's got anything. She's got a hagraven claw, buy that. Uh, looks like she's got a single salt pile. I'll also take that. She's got small antlers, small pearl, some snowberries. Uh, and that looks like it. So, um, another place that you can get, uh, the fish, the, the, the two fish, the, uh, the Abyssin Longfin and the, uh, Sardellic Spade Tail, and as well as salt piles, uh, you can get these from the Rifton Fishery. Um, and there's you know two three fish and a, and a like five or six salt piles in each in each barrel uh, out at the rifton fishery um but if you didn't talk to i think her name is Wujita uh before and give her a healing potion to cure her skooma addiction uh you will have to steal them out of the chest but if you did talk to Wujita, blah 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 uh you can just take them for for shits and giggles but all right and like i had mentioned beforehand um You'll end up getting level 100 alchemy, uh, but you can also use this glitch to help yourself get level 100 smithing. Uh, I think. I haven't tested that yet, but I think you can get level 100 smithing. No, shut the fuck up, Francois. Fuck off. Here, take, uh, thousand. Fuck. God. Leave me alone. Alright. So, uh, I don't know if it'll work with smithing. Uh, I have not tested it, but it's possible. Um... 
I know it works with alchemy and it might also work with enchanting, but I'm like I said, I have not tested it. Uh, so if you can, if you can confirm or deny that in the comment section below, that'd be great help. So I can uh, then update uh, this video. Uh, f but uh, in the meantime, since I know that it works with alchemy because I've tested it with alchemy, we're going to just use it to increase our alchemy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of that uh, fortify alchemy gear that we made before and we're going to go put it on. So now that we have our fortify alchemy gear equipped, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our ingredients. We'll take an Ibison long fin and salt pile since I've got 9,000 of them. And we're going to make ourselves a fortify restoration potion. Um, you want to come to the ingredients unless you already know the, the fortify restoration potion like I do. So I can go to just the fortify restoration potion and it shows me all the ingredients that I know how to make a fortify restoration potion with. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft that potion. Uh, right now, if you'll take note, the fortify restoration spells, uh, it's 42% for 60 seconds. Uh, the 60 seconds isn't gonna fucking do anything, but the 42% will end up going up uh, at quite a uh, at, at quite an exponential rate for those of you who uh, are aficionados in math. So it'll start out going up by maybe one or like five, ten percent each time. Uh, but after it hits a certain point, it'll go up um, to like like it's not going to take me 300 potions to get from you know 42 percent to 13 million, which is where I want to be. It'll take me you know 10 to 20. That's why we have enough ingredients for about 10 to 20 potions. So with that Fortify Restoration Potion, go ahead and drink it, and then go into your apparel and re-equip all of your Fortify Restoration, Fortify Alchemy gear, and we can now see it's gone up from the original 25% to 35%. And we go back into the Alchemy Lab, and we're going to Fortify Restoration again, and now our potion is 65% stronger instead of 42%. Go back to items, go back to our potion, drink the potion, re-equip all of our gear. And we'll continue this process. Uh, and I will be back in a little bit when my alchemy is about to level up to 100. So we'll see you then. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, sorry that um, I've missed a, you've missed a, a little bit, but I'll try to explain as best as I can. So, basically, uh, if we look at my alchemy level right now, uh, we'll have to increase my health a lot. Hold on. Uh, if we look at the alchemy level right now, it is currently at 100. Uh, this is thanks to the Fortify Restoration Potion that we were making. Um, and it was also thanks to this Fortify Restoration Potion that we made that gives us negative 115 million percent stronger restoration, which we do not want to drink. Do not drink the fucking negative potion or you're, you'll fuck your game up, okay? So, Fortify Restoration is currently, uh, we're currently at a state where we can no, no longer do anything because our Fortify Restoration Potion is negative, negative 115 million. Uh, we look at our magic, our active effects, our fortify restoration uh, will last about 27 more seconds. So, what we can do is wait 27 seconds, or we can wait an hour. Uh, I prefer waiting an hour just for shits and giggles. And because it helps me autosave, which is why I was able to uh, recover to this point. Anyways, that what used to be a uh, negative uh, 115 million fortify restoration potion is now back down to uh, 1.5 million, which we're perfectly okay with drinking. Uh, we do the same thing that we've been doing before, re-equipped all of our gear. And if we look at the alchemy lab with our fortify restoration potion, that number is 1 billion, uh, 1 billion 819 million which we don't want something that powerful. I mean, we can, it'll end up being coming out to about 500,000. So why the fuck not? You know what? There, now we've got like 4 million fortify alchemy level or whatever. Uh, from this point, we also want to make our fortify enchanting potion with 
Blue Butterfly Wing, Hagraven Claw, Snowberry, and Springy and Sap. So we'll go ahead and make a bunch of those. Uh, damn it. There we go. And then we've got Hagraven Claws, and there we go. Now we can quit Alchemy. And if we look at our inventory, our potions, we now have 10 Fortify Enchanting Potions and eight Fortify Restoration Potions. Uh, and remember, since our gear is still at, you know, 399, 400,000% uh, more powerful with alchemy. Um, and because of our Fortify Restoration Potion that we drank 14, not 14 seconds ago, 45 seconds ago, uh, these numbers will eventually drop off, uh, which is why we want them to be super powerful like this. So, what we're going to do, uh, even though I said it in the beginning of the video that uh, I want you guys to test this, I'm going to go ahead and test it myself. Uh, that's why I grabbed my dragon bones and dragon scales. And so I can come uh, very slowly over here to this anvil that I know is conveniently right here. Eventually, you know, all in, all in time. Uh, we're going to come to this anvil. We're going to make ourselves more dragon armor. Uh, we need iron ingots for scale. So let's we'll go ahead and create a fuck. I need more leather strips. <sighs> God damn it. Why are you being a fucking asshole? Stupid recording software. What the, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Never mind. Where is... What's our fucking face? I don't even know. You know what? Fuck these dragon bones and shit. I'm dropping them. There. It's not like they're gonna fucking go anywhere. Uh, there she is. It means so much to us to have. I need you to sell me some leather strips. Really, really, fucking really. I should kill you where you stand. Oh, I can just do goat hides. Fucking sweet. Fucking tanning rack. I get to fucking make my own damn leather strips. Sweet. There we go, I have fucking eight more leather strips. Uh, do I, is that enough? I don't know, fuck it. We'll find out. Give me the fucking scales. All right, let's take, let's check our dragon armor again. Make boots, make gauntlets, and make a helmet. Yay, we now have another full set of dragon bone armor, which we can improve once we have let made all of our skills legendary, so that way we set we, we we reset them. So instead of being you know fifteen, or instead of being hundred, we reset them to fifteen, whatever. So I will then fuck it. You know what? I'm fucking fuck these dragon bones and dragon scales. Uh, that cover is where they're going to go now. Miscellaneous store twenty store twenty eight. All right, fantastic. Now I can run. Okay, so what we will do now, we will come up to enchant our enchanting table with our other set of, uh, I'm going to air quote it as fortify alchemy gear because it's not enchanted yet, but that's what we're using it for. The, the ruby ring, the iron gauntlet, the ruby, or the, yeah, gold ruby necklace and the hide helmet is, we're going to enchant those for, with fortify alchemy. Yes, that is correct. Uh, what we can do is right now this fortify enchanting potion is 957,000. Uh, what we can do is we can drink a fortify restoration potion, which will boost the fortify enchanting level, uh, which I'm going to fucking do. So, now that we've boosted those, I'm going to, using Arc arcane enchanter, I'm going to do a lot less talking right now because I want to get all of this done with just one potion instead of having to drink, you know, two or three. Uh, do not recommend doing this unless you know kind of what the fuck you're doing like I do because I've done this like 9,000 fucking times because I'm really sad that I've fucking fuck I've fucked uh, Fuck yep. Yeah. All right. Fuck it YOLO! All right now if you were paying attention you will notice that I just enchanted everything with a negative enchanting level um, My hope here is that I didn't just fuck everything up and um when my f when the fortify restoration potion drops uh that those the those levels will also drop and i will then end up with a 
fortify alchemy gear that is not like negative seven billion or whatever that was. It, and it worked, which is tippity top. So now we can go ahead and drop all of that gear and we can re-equip with this gear because this enchantment level is permanent. It will always stay there. From this point in time, we can, uh, we've got a lot of options open. So what I'm going to do is I will let make all of my enchanting and my smithing levels both legendary. That ring and that necklace, I'm going to enchant with Fortify Smithing. Uh, you can also use a gauntlet. You can also use a pair of gauntlets, but not a helmet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So I'm going to put Fortify Smithing on that necklace and that ring, and we're going to see what kind of effect that has on my enchanting level. Uh, I'm also going to drink a restoration potion and an enchanting potion for shits and giggles. Uh, since I only have two items to enchant, I'm not all that worried about it, um, but I'm gonna end up fucking it up anyways. Uh, fortify smithing, soul gem, grand soul gem. Enchanting increased to 17, and enchanting increased to 19. So we're not getting as much of a level as we were from the fortify, from alchemy. We're not getting as much of a level improvement as we were from alchemy when we were doing it with alchemy. So I'm going to uh, equip both of these and hope my game doesn't crash, which it doesn't look like it will. And now with all of my shit, I'm gonna come down here. Uh, I probably wanna wait until my for that Fortify Restoration runs out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait another hour uh, just to make sure that that potion runs off and doesn't fuck me over in the end. Uh, we'll take I need one dragon bone and three dragon scales. And I can then use this workbench. Wearing the ring and the helmet, I will select them. And if we can see that number, because it's really, really fucking small, that is 22,224,298 armor rating, which is a whole shit ton better than did I really make two boots? Did I really make two boots? Did I really fucking make two boots? Fuck I did. Anyways, so, as I said in the previous part, um, our, we only get an actual, we only get actual protection up to about 570. With 200, with 22 million, we really don't need anything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and craft that. And our smithing level goes <laughs> to 100. So, our smithing level and our alchemy level are both affected by the quality of the item that we craft. So, in which case for alchemy, if we make a potion that gives us 400,000% better restoration potions, we'll increase our shit to 100. Same thing with our uh, smithing. So that is a quick and easy way to get yourself up to a whole shit ton of levels. Uh, we will uh, we'll then go ahead uh, for shits and giggles. You know what? I'm going to uh, make this skill legendary again. Because why not? No, I don't want Magicka. Let's go ahead and fucking make it legendary again. Alright. Let's go ahead. Uh, <laughs> for shits and giggles, we'll just uh, craft another uh, dragon plate helmet. And uh, it'll <laughs> increase to 100 again. <laughs> God, that's fucking ridiculous. Wow, what fucking level am I now? Damn, fuck. I just found out a way to power level myself and break the game. <laughs> Yay. So, with this, uh, with this, um, weekend, pretty much, you just fucking break the game right now. Um, we'll go ahead. We'll put on our dragon plate armor that gives us a godly amount of protection. And our armor rating has increased to, uh, let me figure out what this number is. 104, 1,458,816,640. Uh, in other words, if we actually got protection from all of our armor rating, we would be, uh, a god. But since we only get about 80% protection at armor rating 570, we have about 80% protection, which isn't bad. After all, since we have now learned that we can break the game by just making 
I'm just using our Fortify Smithing gear, which we're wearing, wearing right now, or our Fortify Alchemy gear, and just make potions or make, uh, or fortify or improve uh, armor and such, and we can just break the game. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get a level 100 alchemy skill, a level 100 smithing skill, and how you can break Skyrim uh, in your favor. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and leak. leak. Guys, there's a giant leak in my fridge. If I could find it. Where'd my leak go? Where's my leak? There's my leak. I have a giant... I have a leak in my pot. My, my pot is leaky. Ah, bad jokes. Anyways, if you guys liked this video, please give it a like, a comment, maybe subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any requests for videos you want to see me do, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. Or go ahead and inbox them to me since I get like one inbox a week. I can actually read them all. Uh, and other than that, uh, guys, stick around for my next video, which should be coming up in the next couple of days. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed.